Varying parameters and functions. We've seen the header of a function with parameters that look like this earlier in the unit. So far, we've only seen examples of functions and procedures that have one parameter, but functions can have as many parameters as they need. Copy and paste this code into your IDE. What outputs? All right, so let's copy it, paste it, run, and we see the number eight. Eight outputs, but why? Here's what's going on. The function find largest is defined. Find largest needs two arguments. The function is designed to compare the two arguments with one another and return the larger value. First, the value passed into x is compared to the value passed into y. If x's value is larger, the function returns x. If the value passed into x is not larger than the value passed into y, y is returned as the larger value. The function will also return y if the two values are equal. Since we set num equal to 2 and num2 equal to 8, and then we have num and num2 here, so this num has a value of 2, this num2 has a value of 8, those values are sent here to the corresponding x and y parameters. The value of 2 is now stored in x and the value 8 is now stored in y inside the function. So 2 is greater than 8 is found to be false. So we don't run this, we go to the else and we return y, which is 8. There aren't any big differences between an AP pseudocode procedure with one parameter versus multiple parameters. The quantity of parameters written into the code is the only difference. This next section is something that could be useful during your create task, but you will not see it in the multiple choice section of the AP exam. At times, programmers may not know the number of arguments that will get passed to a function. Python functions have a built-in way of allowing an unspecified number of parameters. Write a function that passes any number of grades in and returns the average of the grades. The number of grades that will be passed into the function will vary every time the function is called, like this. How do you write the function? With what parameters? The asterisk is used in this case as shown below to note that any number of arguments could be passed into the function. We have asterisk num. The best part about this symbol is that num now works as a list that stores all the arguments passed in and we can use it as such. Let's finish the body now. Type what we have into your IDE. All right, so defining the find average function, asterisk num colon sum equals zero. Then we're gonna go through each element of the list. So for x in num, we're going to add it to the sum. So we can write sum equals sum plus x, or we can just write plus equals x. That's the shortcut. All right, then we're gonna call the function. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these. All right, take out those indents. All right, so we are finding the average. So first we will need to add up all the arguments, and that's what we do here. If num is a list, we can go through each element and add it to a total, and that's what we're doing here when we're looping through. If we run this, well, there's no print statements, so it worked with no errors, but let's continue. Now that we have the total sum of all the grades, we need to divide by the total number of grades. But how many is that if it's always changing? So return sum divided by Turn sum divided by what? If num is a list, then it holds all the behaviors of a list, including the ability to use len, or length. This allows us to accurately divide by the correct number of grades every time. So len num. So the length of the list. So that still doesn't have any print statements, so we can't run it yet. 
add some print statements and test your program. All right, then compare it with a calculator to see if the values are correct. All right, so let's add some print statements. So we just want to print average one, print average two, print average three. So those look right to me. You can check them with a calculator if you would like. But yeah, we have, we have three averages, different numbers of grades every time.